India, a home to one of the most ancient civilizations of the world, a land of rich and vibrant cultural heritage. As a renowned center of art, culture and timeless traditions, it has mesmerized the world through the ages. Indian temples and monuments are the marvels of ancient art, culture and architecture. They tell the story of the evolution and growth of Indian civilization and their extraordinary craftsmanship. India's millennia-old artifacts are an invaluable part of its heritage. However, over the last few centuries, many of these Indian antiquities were taken out of the country illegally. The government of India has been putting in lots of efforts to bring these invaluable pieces of Indian heritage back home. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the last few years have seen tremendous success in returning of lost antiquities. With the relentless efforts of the Government of India and the active support of agencies and departments of the Government of United States, a total of 157 Indian artifacts have been identified and are set to return to India. In the presence of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, the Government of the United States of America officially handed over these 157 Indian artifacts to the Government of India. Out of these 157 artifacts, about 45 antiquities belong to before Common Era period. The returning of such a large number of Indian artifacts in a single lot provides a major boost to the Government of India's campaign to bring the lost Indian antiquities back home. These items of immense heritage value largely belong to the period of 11th CE to 14th CE, with some exceptions, such as the copper anthropomorphic object of 2000 BC or the terracotta vase from the 2nd CE. 71 artifacts are of cultural significance, 70 figurines are related to Hinduism, 16 to Buddhism and 9 to Jainism. Their make spreads across metal, stone and terracotta, with one exception of a paper painting. The bronze collection primarily contains ornate figurines of the well-known postures of Lakshmi Narayana, Buddha, Vishnu, Shiv, Parvati and the 24 Jain Tirthankaras, as well as the less common Kankala Murti, Brahmi and Nandikesa, besides other unnamed deities and divine figures. The stone sculptures are made from sandstone, schists and granite among others. The Hindu religious motifs depicted in the sculptures include three-headed Brahma, chariot driving Surya, Vishnu and his consorts, Shiv as Dakshin Murti, dancing Ganesh. The Buddhist motifs include standing Buddha, Bodhisattva Manjushri and Tara. Among the Jain motifs are Jain Tirthankar, Padmasan Tirthankar, Jaina Chaubisi. Some artifacts also reflect cultural motifs such as amorous couple in Samabhanga, Chauri bearer, female playing drum. The most intricate sculptures include Padmapani in Samabhanga posture, Jaina Chaubisi and the four-armed Vishnu in bronze. The list of artifacts also include one and a half meter brass relief panel of Revanta in sandstone of the 10th CE and a 8.5 cm tall exquisite bronze Nataraja from the 10th CE. A significant portion of this collection of antiquities includes terracotta pieces. The terracotta pieces include a vase of 2nd CE, pair of deer of 12th CE, bust of a female of 14th CE and an 18th CE sword and sheath with an inscription mentioning Guru Hargobind Singh in Persian. The heritage collection's provenance is largely from eastern, central and southern India but the other regions are also represented. Bringing back these lost antiquities from all over the world is a complex and complicated affair. Lost in the pages of history until now, these antiquities will soon be brought where they belong. The return of these antiquities is the manifestation of the respect and the resolve to preserve the legacy of India's art, culture and heritage for future generations.
the government and people of India extend their heartfelt gratitude to the government and people of the United States of America for their help in returning 157 lost pieces of invaluable Indian heritage to India.